Right now, Governor Ron DeSantis is taking steps to reclaim the Reedy Creek District after a last-minute maneuver by Disney to stop a state takeover. And the governor is also threatening to build a state prison near the House of Mouse. And let's get right to Local 10's Janice Fernandez in the newsroom with more. Janice. The governor not only fighting back, but making threats. He is promising legislation will give the state back control over the district. Governor Ron DeSantis is not giving up as his battle with Disney continues. The governor speaking in Lake Buena Vista from the Reedy Creek Administration Building Monday, announcing his plan to gain back control. They are not uh, superior to the laws that are enacted by the people of the state of Florida. DeSantis says the Florida legislature has authority to revoke development agreements and a bill is in the works to do just that. The governor saying lawmakers would take away certain powers. One example, Disney won't do its own inspections of rides and monorails. The state would instead. The governor also tossed around the idea of building on the land that borders Disney, taking yet another swing at the House of Mouse. Maybe maybe have a, another, uh, maybe create a state park, maybe try to do more amusement uh, parks. Uh, someone even said, like, maybe you need another state prison. Who knows? I mean, I just think that the, the possibilities are, 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 are endless. And the governor pointed the Central Florida Tourism Oversight Board to replace the Reedy Creek Improvement District. But last month, it was discovered that the outgoing board and Disney made their own agreement that gives Disney even more power over the territory where the theme parks operate, blindsiding the governor's appointed board. They negotiated with, its, with themselves to give themselves the ability to maintain their self-governing status. Now that's in direct defiance of the will of the people of Florida. The feud between the governor and Disney started last year when Disney opposed the parental rights and education law, or what critics have dubbed the don't say gay bill. It prompted Disney to announce it would halt its political giving in Florida. Disney CEO Bob Iger has yet to comment on this latest announcement, but during the stakeholders' annual meeting earlier this month, he called the governor's actions anti-business and anti-Florida. Now, the governor said lawmakers could move on these new bills as early as next week. Meanwhile, the state board meets on Wednesday.